Okay, here's a little note on themes. Now I've picked uh, a theme called, I think it's Pepper or something like that. Um, when you view a page in a theme that's got columns that are too narrow, it just doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to pick a different theme. I'm going to pick uh, the 2012 theme. And we're going to activate it. Okay, now let's take a look at it. The business page. Review. And now you can see the columns wider. And you can actually view the two um, phones side by side. So you have to pick a theme with a wide column. If you go all, if you can get it one that's all the way across the bottom, uh, this is like two thirds here, and you pick large for viewing your uh, phones, then you get an even better view. But I'm just gonna, this is just the standard default 2012 uh, WordPress theme. So there you go. Okay, here we are, ready to upload the file into. Mobile ATM Pro. But before we do that, we're going to figure out, uh, we got to fill out the CSV file a little bit more. So let's look at the page templates here. I deleted uh, ID number two because it was a duplicate. And what we're aiming for here is a restaurant, so it's going to be number eight. So I'm going to go back to our um, pizza page here. We're going to put 8. Okay, we're going to copy that all the way down. I think I'll center that just so I can see it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we've got everything filled out except for this example site here. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, first of all do it a data site. See what that looks like. So select the name of the or the um, website URL and right click copy and we're going to create a duda site. Okay, here we are at dudamobile.com. I'm going to log in. Create a mobile site, and we'll do this pizza place. And let's see what happens here. This thing will whir away. They're quite good. All right, now we've got um, one already done up for us. Isn't that cute? So we can use this as the test site if you want, if you want to go to that extreme and do for each one. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is preview it. Take a look at it on an iPhone. And now we're going to send the URL. We'll send it to an email. In this case, I'm going to send it to another Gmail address that I have. So we sent that email successfully. Okay, now I'm going to go back to it and take a look, and we'll get the uh, actual address of this. Okay, so the Duda mobile site sent me this email here. And so now we're going to view the mobile site you'll notice that here is an actual address we can use to plunk into the spreadsheet. Okay, so we're going to select that, copy, and we're going to paste it here. Okay, uh, now I've taken a little section of that other spreadsheet and um, I've reduced it to 
these six samples here. We're just going to do a small sample for a demo now. I've added uh, a template that I have into this. Let's see if we can take a look at that. All right, here's a template I have stored. I got this from Squeeze Moby. And of course, that's going to look on an iPhone. It'll look like this. And I've done that for these, the rest of them here. So we're going to upload this and see what this looks like on uh, Mobile ATM. And here we are. I've already actually uploaded this previously, but um, I'm going to show you how you do it. You go to business pages, go to the very bottom here, go to choose file, and then here it is, upload pizza. This is batch one because I broke it, um, that larger spreadsheet into different batches. And I'm calling this batch one. So here, you, if you preview it, depending what kind of uh, Windows Explorer you have, you can see that it is a text file in there. And I'll say open. Okay. So there it is. If I click upload, uh, it will load all this stuff in. So I'm not going to upload it again because it's already there. Okay, let's preview this first one here. And this particular theme is the 2012 uh, default theme for WordPress. And here it is. This is uh, the template for restaurants. And as you can see, because we've got a wide enough column there, there's the, um, the zoom view. It shows it as small. If you don't have it in zoom, it'll show it as a large section. And over here we've got the Dudo Mobile one we did. Okay, so I'll go and I'll show you what I mean by uh, zoom. Okay, we go to settings. And here it says phone zoom. Now if I were to say no and then update that, then go back to the business pages. And then preview. Okay, there's the difference. See, there's the non-zoom mode. And that's not actually what it really looks like on a cell phone. So you want the zoom mode. So I'm going to pause for a second and set it back to zoom. Okay, so here we are. Back of the business pages, we're going to look at this other format or this other uh, demo site. Okay, so there's Anthony's Pizza. This is what it actually looks like on a cell phone, or pretty close to it. And here's our default or the the demo pizza site that I got from Squeeze Moby, actually. Okay, so we're ready to actually send an email, but before we do, always check the plugin site first, see if there's an update. Uh, and there is. Okay. So it says uh, new version. And let's just see what happens in the new version here. Okay, there's, so there was an error on the groups page, and that's fixed. All right, that's how you can check. Uh, and we'll install update now. Okay, we'll go back to Mobile ATM Pro business pages. Okay, you can send emails uh, either individually or in bulk. All right, we're going to send this one individually to see what happens. So you just click on here. Okay, the email template you want, you pick it here at this point. So we're going to pick restaurant. 
and here is the template. Oops, but we forgot to put the person's details in here. So I'm going to cancel this for now. I'm going to go back and edit the uh, sender information. Okay, we're back here and we're going to click on email templates and we're going to edit this one here. And I'm going to type in the name. Okay, there, we just updated it. Now I'll go back to the business pages. And I'm going to click send email. And we're going to pick uh, restaurant. Let's take a look at it here. Great, now there's the sender's email and name and phone number. So we'll click send, and email was sent. Third is there, sent December 5th. Okay, and now we'll do a batch send. Okay, so the way you do a batch send is you click on the ones you want to send. And now we're going to do a bulk send. There's restaurant, and click bulk send. There you go. Bulk send was done. And now we can see that these three have been sent. So that was uh, for demo purposes. And now we're going to uh, we're going to let the owner of this website actually send the rest of them. Okay, so that's it for this video. In uh, the next video, we'll look at some settings and a basic, basic setup.